So, a little trip across the Irish Sea then to end day two. We're at Leopardstown, and it's the Hennessy Gold Cup. A grade one chase, and it's over three miles, of course. And the top one is OMG James, Derek Hinton, It Marbo, Darren Thompson, Fort Lauderdale, Paul Rhodes, Ben A. Opera, Molly at Surfer, Barra Kilogram, Quizable, Acquitted, Paul Rhodes, Unbind, Thunderspark, Time to Kill, Joshua Sutherland, Princess Lady Jane, Ghost Zapper, Olga Barriosova, Martin Leader, Malta Vision, Molly at Surfer, Maximum Impact, Joshua Sutherland, Exo Flair, Thunderspark, and Bread and Butter, Derek Hinton. A nice field then, got last year's Gold Cup winner in the race as well. Should be a good one. Let's hope we've got some fences to jump in this as well. Away they go then. Very short run to the first, and they're all quickly over that one. And making their way down towards the second. So just nine then. You know, three mile chase is somewhat farcical, I have to say. And this is about the third season on the trot that I've highlighted this, and nobody does anything about it. It is absolutely beyond belief that nobody puts this right. I mean, three mile chases with nine fences is about as pointless as a chocolate teapot. So, Fort Lauderdale is the leader then. Bread and Butter second. Exo Flair is third. Then comes a quitting after that one. Molto Vision is next, then Unbind and Princess Lady Jane after that. Time to kill and Ben A. Opera. With Olga Barriosova, just the back marker. So Fort Lauderdale it is then. This long, long run to the second fence. Bread and Butter second. Exo Flair third. Quitting fourth. And Molto Vision after that one. Princess Lady Jane is next. They get to the second. Skip over it nicely, all over it okay. So much of a long one to the third. As they come past the big screen. Well, maybe it is, that was a hurdle I could see in the distance. They passed the winning post then, and they've got a long way to go yet. And there's a second big screen. And, oh, there's the next fence. Spot the fences. So Fort Lauderdale. In front from Bread and Butter in second. Exo Flair is third, then Ben A. Opera is back in fourth. Princess Lady Joan is next, acquitted next, Molto Vision, and then Unbind as they take the next. All over that one nicely with OMG James, the back marker. And Fort Lord of Leader. They should be jumping 21, 22 fences in this race. For some reason, they're only jumping nine. Well, won't go on about it anymore. Give up. It's Fort Lauderdale in the lead. Bread and Butter second. Exo Flair is third. And Ben A. Opera and Princess Lady Jane is next. Then comes Acquitted, Molto Vision, It Marbo. Uncle Barry Osso has made a forward move then on Bind Time to Kill, Barra Killer. Maximum impact. And finally, LMG James at the back. So Fort Lauderdale. Last year's Gold Cup winner in the lead. Bread and Butter second, Exo Flair third, and Ben A. Opera and Princess Lady Jane after that, and it Marbo is on the inside of Olga Barriosova. On Bind is the second of the Greys, with Time to Kill just behind that one, and then Barrakilla, Maximum Impact, and OMG James at the back. So I'm sure there'll be another fence soon. And Fort Lord of that in front. Bread and butter second. Ben A. Opera on Exo Flair. Just Lady Joan. Here we go. Here's a fence. Uh, they're all over it. Okay. With Barra Kill on the back marker. And Fort Lord of Bread and Butter. Disputing the lead. Then a Opera Exo Flare, and the next fence comes up pretty quickly. Things considered, and over the fifth they go. And we're losing one there. OMG James has pulled up. That one's out of the race. And Fort Lauderdale leads, but Derek Hinton's still got another one in there. He's got bread and butter in second. If they race downhill, you can see the stand in the distance. That's where they're going to get to. It's just under a mile away as they take the ditch, which is fence number six. Just three more fences to take in the final mile then. And Fort Lauderdale's in front from Ben A. Opera second, Bread and Butter third, Exo Flare four, 
Hold the barrier officer was five, then acquitted Princess Lady General and bind the village a bunch as they take the third last. And it Marble and Barra Killer are at the back. With Fort Lauderdale in front. Then all the way so far, time to kill appears to be going well. Then on bind and bread and butter as they take the second last. Oh, well over that one. With Barra Killer completely out of shot, Nick Marbo struggling at the back. Fort Lauderdale now being joined by Time to Kill as they race towards the four furlong mark. With one more fence to take. And Time to Kill is the leader. From Fort Lauderdale, and acquitted and unbind and Bene Opera, maximum impact. Octo Vision is after that one. Barakil has been pulled up. Time to kill. That's one fence to jump over. Eventually. Fort Lauderdale is struggling in a second now. Acquitted trying to run on and unbind and maximum impact. And we're losing Ip Marbo. He's pulling up at the back, pulling up inside the final furlong and a half. And time to kill in front. At the final fence then. Time to kill skips over in the lead. Leads by a couple of lengths. Uphill towards the finish. Nothing's going to catch him. Time to kill. Takes a bit of a farcical race for me. In truth. Time to kill wins it then. Acquitted second on by third. And the last one to finish was on the Barry Oliver. Uh, Serves me right, my was getting last. <laughs> Time to kill wins it for Joshua Sutherland. Acquitted for Paul Road second. Unbind Thunder Spark was third. Maximum impact Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Fort Lauderdale for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs>